This is a binocular compound microscope. It has two ocular lenses, one for each eye that makes viewing easier. The ocular lenses magnifies the image of the specimen. They are usually 10 times or 15 times power magnification. This part is the arm. It supports the ocular lenses and connects it to the base. It is also used to carry the microscope. This is the stage and the stage clip. The stage is the platform where you place the slide specimen. The stage clip holds the slides in place. This part of the microscope is what we call the coarse adjustment knob. This knob is used to move the stage up and down. This is the power switch. We use this to turn on and turn off the microscope. This is the light source or the illuminator. It makes the specimen easier to see by giving light. You can adjust the brightness according to your preference using the knob on the side. This one is the diaphragm. This controls the amount of light that's going through the specimen. There is no set of rule on which setting to use for every magnification. The degree of contrast that you desire depends on the transparency of the specimen. These are the objective lenses attached to the revolving nose piece. The nose piece is a part that holds two or more objective lenses and can be rotated to easily change power. These microscopes has four objectives. The red is a scanner with four times magnification, yellow or the low power objective with ten times magnification, the blue or the high power objective with 40 times magnification, and the white or the oil immersion objective with 100 times magnification. These magnifications are multiplied by 10 from your ocular lenses, making the red or the scanner 4 times 10, now 40 times magnification. The yellow or the low power objective is now 100 times magnification. The blue or the high power objective is now 400 times magnification. And the white or the oil immersion objective is now 1000 magnification. You can view the specimen by moving the slide and turning these two knobs. One moves back and forth and the other moves left and right. The proper way to focus a microscope is to start with the lowest power objective lens first. While looking from the side, crank the lens as close to the specimen as possible without touching it. Now, look through the eyepiece lens and focus upward only until the image is sharp. If you can't get it in focus, repeat the process again. Continue with the subsequent objective lenses and find focus each time. Right now, we are using the red objective or the scanner with 4 times magnification. Then we are going to switch using the low power objective with 10 times magnification. We are going to use the fine adjustment knob to refocus so we can see the specimen clearly. Next, we need to switch to the high power objective. Rotate to 40 times objective. Locate desired portion of the specimen in the center of the field. Refocus very carefully so that the specimen is focused as sharply as possible. In using the oil immersion objective with 100 times magnification, we need to place a small drop of oil on the slide in the center of the lighted area. Put the small drop of oil directly over the area of the specimen to be examined. Rotate 
so that the 100 times magnification oil immersion objective touches the oil and clicks into place. Focus the specimen using the fine adjustment knob and adjust the light from the illuminator and the diaphragm. When you have finished for the day, wipe the 100 times magnification oil immersion objective carefully with lens paper to remove all oil. Thank you.